Hey guys, welcome to another how-to video. In uh, this video, I'm showing you guys how to install Sfax for Ticket Lite. I did a previous video of this a long time ago, and I decided to redo it because uh, the old one has some issues in the video towards the later end when I was showing you guys uh, some of the blocks and items that were textured. Uh, something happened in the rendering where it fucked itself, so that footage was, was lost somehow. So I'm gonna show how to do it again, and uh, do a proper overview of the texture blocks and the non-texture blocks. So uh, let's get into it, guys. All right, the first things first, to get your Tekkit Lite to have the beautiful textures of Sfax is to go to the BDCraft website uh, at bdcraft.net. And I will leave a link to this in the description for you guys to click so you don't have to go tape it in yourself or whatever. So uh, first things first, you wanna go to downloads and you want to wait for the page to load if you have a slowest internet like I do and uh, click on pure beauty craft for minecraft java and uh, once you're on here uh, it should have a thing down here uh, for you if this is your first time being on this page it'll tell you that you need to accept the terms of use and you just click I accept I think it's the green check mark or whatever so uh, because ticket light is 1.4.7 we want to select that and uh, slide over to 128 or uh, depending on the power of your computer you can choose 64 32 or 16 bit but I'm gonna choose 128 so uh, download that um, if you have ad block this will show up but you just click download with ad and uh, it should download. Actually, I don't know if that shows up with Adblock or not. For me, it does because I've Adblock, but it may or may not show anyways. All right, the next thing to do in order to get your mods and stuff textured and take it light is to go to Mod Patches on this page, and it should open up another page. And you want to click Releases for Packs, and scroll down until you find Tech It Light. And in here, you are going to want to download the new update for for this, uh, the V1.3. And uh, it brings you to Mediafire, you click download, it'll download, close this, close, it up, close this other page, and uh, see you guys in a minute once this is all done downloading. So. Uh, once that's finished, you want to go ahead and click and drag both of these onto your desktop. And you can close this page now because you're finished. Alright, open up these two. Go away, Runrar. Go away. Alright. You have Sfax here. You want to go in here, control A, everything in here, and click and drag it over. And then click OK. And it's done just like that. Make sure that everything's in here and uh, close this once you're done. Close this. And uh, you don't need this file anymore, so go ahead and put it in a recycle bin. Next thing's next, you want to go and do on all versions of Windows for the most part. You can do Windows R, and it'll bring up this run box. And if you're on Windows 7, you can go to your start menu and search it in there, or on Windows 10, you have the Cortana box down here that you can click on. And uh, yeah, once you have typed in percent, updated percent, you want to go ahead and click enter or OK or whatever, and it will pop up your roaming file, which showed up over here for some reason. So uh, once you're here, you want to go into .technic. And uh, for you guys, if you have recently created your Technic Launcher, your Ticket Lite should be in your Mod Packs folder. But for me, because I made this .technic file a long, long time ago before they did the Mod Pack thing, it's uh, here. So uh, once you find your Ticket Lite folder, you want to go ahead and double click Ticket Lite, go ahead and click Texture Packs, and drag that in there. Since I already have my 120 bit in there, I won't drag it in. So that's how you get it. And I will cut back, guys, uh, once Techalite has launched. So see you guys in a minute.
Alright, once Ticket Light has launched, you should see your texture packs button right here. So click on that and you select your texture pack. And it will take a minute for it to load, especially if you have a high resolution version. But uh, once it loads, you click done, and then it'll take a minute or two to load as well. So, uh, yeah, see you guys in a second once this is done. Alright, this is like my third time trying to record this bit, so uh, here we go. Uh, I have this world here that I set up some items and blocks to show you of what is textured and what isn't. Like uh, all this stuff over here, it isn't textured, but I will try and find patches for these specific blocks here, as well as uh, steep carts, uh, their components, some stuff is not textured. Uh, some is weirdly enough, but uh, I will try and find patches for you guys and link that in the description. If I can't find any, uh, there won't be any links, but if I do, I will put them there. So, uh, on to the next items. We have Thermal Expansion here. Uh, that is nicely textured. We got Project Red. That's textured. Uh, Industrial Craft is textured as well as, as, well as its add-on packs. Alright, uh, another mod that is textured is the Dimensional Doors mod, as you can see. Uh, we got some lovely uh, Eye of Ender in that door, which then goes to that, so that's nice textured. So uh, there's that. Uh, when I originally did this video, uh, like four or five years ago, so uh, yeah. And then we have Mistcraft here, all nice textured. Uh, all these different blocks and items and stuff. Some Buildcraft items here, as well as the black hole chest, which uh, has lots of space in it. And I uh, got these chests here for storage, as well as the ender pouch in that chest, because I decided to put it in there, and it looks kind of neat. Uh, when it's floating around in there. Why oh, is it not floating anymore? Oh, there it goes. There it is, floating around. And uh, as you can see, we also have a Platter Energistics being textured as well. Uh, like I said earlier, I will try and find patches for that, for that stuff. So, uh, with that said, that's it for uh, this showcase slash how-to video. More how-to video than showcase, but uh, you, you get what I mean. So, uh, the next video after this one being uploaded should be another Warframe or something else. I plan on doing another how-to video at some point here. Um, not particularly sure what the how-to video is going to be. But until then, hope guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys.